I'm Kes. I'm Annie. This is a four-room BTO. It is about 1,000 square feet. We have moved in here for close to a year. So to expand the living space, we actually hacked away a bedroom and also we sort of hacked away our kitchen yard and our kitchen we installed sliding doors. One of the things that we really wanted for our house is an open space to host people because we really like to hang out with our friends. We had a rental place before moving into this BTO and we had to source for furniture then. So we went to look around and we decided on this dark leather sofa that we have as well as um, this dining table. Uh, and when, after designing and moving over here, we realised that it fit quite well in the space and we just like to keep it. So at our home, we actually don't own a TV. The <laughs> reason is because we uh, tend to watch things in the night and then uh, we thought that a projector can screen at a bigger wall. Yeah, so for the aesthetic area, most of the time, uh, I mean, we do store like items below. This is very convenient and maximizes the use of our space. But uh, on top of it, most of the time, our cats actually sleep there for their naps. Although occasionally, they are kind enough to loan the humans for a spot to sleep as well. So it's one of the kind of the best areas to nap in our house. We were exploring the idea of conceding the bomb shelter door. And so I think we eventually discussed and, and, and came to this idea of having suited panels. And so because of that, we decided to yeah, basically conceal the entire wall and make it some sort of feature wall. Previously in our rental place, we had a balcony. So uh, when we actually approached Luke Field, our ID, Kelly, proposed a balcony and we really, really liked the design. And that was one of the kind of the main reasons we thought, hey, we really could click with the designer and when we looked. So we originally conceptualized it as a place for us to read and chill. But now, uh, having lived here for a couple of months, uh, it's mainly a cat chill area where the cats we sleep and play uh, and drink water. And you get to close them in or lock ourselves out when needed. We knew that we always wanted a niche more. We just didn't know where exactly to, to fit into the entire design and how it would look quite a deep ocean blue as the background is quite, quite different. I think it suited our needs. I mean, we do have collectibles and we like to style them with different things. What happened in the end is that the cats took over the space and actually uh, one of our cats, Amber, she likes to sleep on top. We definitely wanted uh, an open concept kitchen and we knew that we wanted an island as well. To really achieve the island look, we had to use the dining area as well. And we also extended the service yard. I think it just opened up the space much more. I think it makes a huge difference. Uh, Build Build gave us quite a good option. So they, they proposed these uh, soft closing uh, sliding doors that we felt worked really well. We use it every day without fail. We actually both cook and uh, it makes a lot of difference when we actually can close the sliding doors because uh, most important is about keeping the cats out and then secondly, prevents the smell from going to other parts of our house. Yeah. So this was supposed to be where we placed our microwave and toaster. But we realised that it was out of eye level reach. I think it's quite difficult to pick out hot items. So we repurposed the space and realised that we had a lot of alcohol to display. We have a space dedicated for coffee uh, because we both love coffee and uh, we start our day off by uh, each making us a cup of coffee. So my dad does handcrafted wood and resin homeware. Having this dedicated area like the coffee corner really helps me to style for my photos. So I'll usually display his items around the house. The kitchen island is actually now um, where we, the, the space where we eat our meals. So every morning when we both wake up, we actually come here to eat. And in fact, even for dinners, we come here to eat as well. Instead of the dining table and, um, and it's uh, near the fridge, so we can always take drinks and eat in our meals. So we have larger gatherings at the dining table, but with just the two of us, usually we will just sit at the kitchen island. For the master bedroom, so we wanted as much wardrobe space as possible. At the same time, we didn't really like the idea of having very angular wardrobes. So that's when Kelly recommended that we try this very unique shape where it will accommodate our vanity area and it will curve all the way up to the ceiling that, and it frame the bed as well. 
You can see uh, there is uh, kind of a lot of space in front of the bed. I think we haven't decided what to do with that. We might put in shelves, we might actually put a TV there, so those are some options. So for the spare bedroom, we explored many different ways of styling the space or using the space with loose furniture. Right now, uh, we have furnished it as a home office and we also put in a small reading corner because we both like to read in the afternoon when we really want to chill and just take a break from work and sit there and uh, read a bit. Uh, my favourite part of the house is the bay window because uh, when you actually lie there, the, the flat surface is really comfortable and then uh, if you just tilt your head to the left, you get to see a nice view all the way to the CPD. So it's really, really nice, especially in about late afternoon or evening time. Yeah. Really chill and relaxing. Even though we have many lights in the house, really like having lamps or other kinds of lighting options around, I think that just helps style the space much better. We went to Korea. We saw this studio that handcrafted wood lighting that were battery operated and were really functional. Uh, they were also really stylish. We felt that that was a great option to have in people's homes. So we decided to bring those in uh, and hopefully share that with more homes in Singapore. Hope you guys enjoyed the house tour. Thank you for watching.